Hello there. In this video, we're going to check out a plugin that's going to help you with your documentation, whether that's for your style guide, your design system, your UI kit, whatever it is. This plugin is going to help document your variables, your colors and your typography, and it's going to do it really, really quickly. So let's check it out. OK, so jumping into the computer, I have got the plugin here on screen called Auto Documentation. And the summary here is pretty short and sweet. It says with one click, the plugin documents all of the colors and font styles for you. So it makes everything really nice and easy, creates some swatches for you and creates some typography scales as well. So under the color documentation section, it says it documents all of the color styles defined in your file puts them into an adjustable component. You can create your own template or use the auto-generated one and it outputs the following fields which are color name, color hex value and color RGB value. On the font documentation side of things, documents all your fonts defined in the file, puts them into an adjustable component. Again, you can create your own template or use the auto-generated one and it outputs the following fields. So we've got preview text, font name, font family, font weight, font size, font line spacing and font letter spacing. And at the bottom here, it documents all of your local variables. So let's jump into Figma and see how it works. Okay, so now we're in Figma. Um, I've got a blank page and I've got some local textiles here. I've got a small and a medium. Um, I don't have any color styles. So if we go into the plugins panel here, go to plugins and widgets and click on auto documentation. This is the plugin. The first tab that we have is colors. If I click on document all colors here, it actually says it can't find any color styles in this file. That's because I've got nothing in my local styles. So let me just close the plugin. I'm going to create some local styles. So let's go into color. Let's create, let's create some alert styles. So let's just do red. Just make these up really quickly. And then let's add another one. Add orange. Yep. Create the style. Now when I go back into the plugin, I click on auto documentation. And now when I document all colors, we get, let's just move that out of the way. So as you can see, it's generated a component here at the top and below it's taken my alert colors and popped them into these swatches. And we've got the name, the hex and the RGB value as well. Okay, so let's move on to the fonts tab. So in here, we've got some preview content that by the looks of it, we can adjust. Yeah, we can adjust that. Um, we can do just the text, the font name, or the font name and the text. So let's do both. Uh, I've adjusted the preview text here, and I'm just gonna move the colors away just so nothing clashes. So now let's click on document all fonts. Okay, and as you can see above, it's put something on the canvas. Let me just go and draw a frame out and just draw over that area. And let's zoom in a little bit. So it looks like we have a component here. So we've got a heading and let me just shift and drag these items up. So we have the preview text, we have the name, which is in line with my textiles here, my local textiles got the font family, enter. So we've got the weight, size, line height, and letter spacing. Okay, so let me zoom out, and let me just drag that frame down so nothing clashes. And the last option here we've got is variables. So this is gonna generate some documentation on my local variables. If I just click onto the canvas, go to my local variables, and move the plugin over a little bit. So as you can see, I've got quite a few in here that I've created in a previous video. So we've got primary, black and white, secondary, foundation. Let me close that. And let's just click on document all variables. Okay, so let me just drag this across. And now I can close the plugin. So we go into my color styles. It's documented the name, the type, and the mode. Now if I just open up my local variables panel, so this lines up correctly with what I have in my variables panel. We've got all the different sections here. So we've got primary, black and white, secondary, and so on. It's something that runs really, really quickly. So if you've got any local variables or local styles, this plugin should make your life a lot easier when documenting them. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
like and subscribe, add some comments, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.